What's up, everybody? Uh, Area 51 Rebuilt. Um, we're in game name for Area 51, oftentimes, if you can't find me. <clears throat> um, today, I'm going to be playing uh, Heartwood Online, something that I've been actually playing without letting you guys know. Uh, it's kind of been one, one of my like dirty little secret like MMOs. Uh, you, you'll see why. Uh, so, here we have uh, the beginning of the game. This is kind of how you enter in you log in through one of your different things this game is on steam uh as well as um android mobile i don't know about ios i haven't actually looked <clears throat> but it's pretty fun it is very very grindy think of like japanese rpg kind of grind levels where you're gonna be doing this all day long and you might only get a couple of levels okay so it's not it's not like um something where you're gonna level up quickly it's not like your call of duty or anything like that where you're like playing one match and you'd be able to level up one time and after a day you can prestige or anything like that it's it's very very grindy you'll see here in just a second uh so i'm gonna load in this is actually the first time that i've ever loaded into uh the pc variant also i should make that known um just in case uh so basically what i'm going to be doing today is i'm just going to be telling everybody how to play the game uh first of all we have our inventory right now I don't have anything in my inventory and I'm pretty broke uh, I'm gonna go up here to um, my bank this is all the stuff that I have in my bank uh, <clears throat> now a couple of questions right you can move this is a stack of coal now it only it only stays in a stack so even if I moved all of it it's only gonna be stacked uh, move it all back now we got 500 here and 61 um, Things do not stack when they are like weapons or tools, right? They they do not stack. You cannot stack them. Uh, some other things you can make deeds, which essentially what that does. So like if I wanted to move all of this and all of this, and I wanted to. Oh, just kidding. Let's go ahead and move all that back. Sorry. Let's go ahead and make a deed now. I can stack this deed. Up to 561 which is both the 500 and coal here and the 61 and coal here it's combining them to make 561 on essentially a piece of paper that says you have 561 coal within this piece of paper anybody that is moved or that is used um, like uh, runescape or old school runescape or anything like that pretty pro probably pretty uh, used to seeing deeds um, being used in, in those kind of games. Uh, it's not something that you really see nowadays in MMOs um, just because you have so much backpack space and bank space and blah 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 blah. Uh, <clears throat> when you first start out the game you're just gonna end up like right here. Uh, if you were here a couple of weeks ago there was events that were going on down here. There's no longer any events for, for the holidays. Uh, instead you have this fur trapper guy. You talk to him I'll tell you what he needs. Uh, you know, it's a sure sign of toughness, helping the elderly fur trapper and collect pots to keep his business going. Um, this guy is legit just trying to get you to do free labor. Uh, he kind of makes that really obvious in the beginning. It's not really the point, though. So he needs you to collect wool. Each one of these missions, when you first start out, I think it's like uh, small rat pelts or small animal pelts. So if you go around and start killing stuff, oh, okay, it's a little bit different on mobile. Uh, on mobile, you'll see like a little button here that'll be like pick up. But on here, you just scroll over to it, pick it up. That's not bad though. Uh, I can work with that. <clears throat> the game is pretty fun, but uh, you've probably been noticing that when I kill this person or this animal, it shows that I'm getting zero XP. That's not a bug. It's not a glitch. It's not anything else. It's it, you're legitimately getting zero XP from killing that mob or that monster. Uh, you can tell before you even kill anything. If you look at its bar up here, you'll see the yellow, which is its health bar. This number five is its level bar. Uh, if it's grayed out like that, you will not get any XP from killing that that monster. Okay, you just won't. It, it, the game is constantly trying to make you uh, 
play up in difficulty. All right, it's it's nothing bad. It's not <clears throat> like I I see a lot of people complaining about it. Oh, the game's too difficult because I don't you know I can't do the difficulty. Da, 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 da. Um, I don't see anything negative in it. I do understand why people would want to sit at say like a low teens level and just you know grind until they get um a much higher level and then keep going from there but uh at the same time i don't see the big deal i will say that monsters also take forever and a day to kill um <clears throat> they do drop stuff when they drop stuff uh let's go ahead and let me kill this guy really quick Maybe. nothing's really quick in this game either <laughs> Don't let me fool you. Um, I say that, but it's actually a really fun game. And I wish people didn't give it so much hard time. Uh, I just teleported back. It's this little T button down here. Uh, on mobile, I think it's up in the top right corner. Uh, you just press it, and it'll teleport you. I think you can only do it like once every three or four minutes, though, so it's not something that you can just keep pressing over and over and over. Right here, you'll see that I am level 26 character. I'm level 14 mining um I, like i cannot exact like i cannot explain enough that leveling in this game is so difficult and is so like it, it's fun but man is it difficult also i think my guild left me oh no never mind I'm still in my guild jk um so when you when you do so like okay right now uh the blue button i have this stuff in my inventory right i got two iron ore and seven small gear meat if you want to sell stuff to somebody you can just click on the item and then click sell that's one way to do it you can also down here on this little bar click sell click the item and click sell I told you guys earlier that I'm broke in the game. I'm really not that broke. Like there are people that have tons more money, of course, but like making your first 10k is a big deal, um, because the stuff that you get from mobs or from uh, enemies are really low value. Like they don't <laughs> they don't get you much, right? I killed nine enemies and got nine items, which is relatively good for for drop wise. And those nine items were a total of nine dollars or nine coin whatever you want to call it uh so the, the drop rate is not good um the like these items that i have up here are all drops from uh from from enemies they're not like anything that i made uh they will typically come in like a box like these guys here the rusty strong box they'll drop from the enemy or you can also learn them in magic recipes uh the bone harp is really good uh, I don't have it even though I am level 26 I also cannot really like I could equip it but it's not gonna do me much good right because my person my character ooh, sorry so used to playing on, on uh, Android um, my person <clears throat> does not do magic power okay they are all health armor attack power critical chance health regen and that's it they don't ha like my person doesn't have any skills anywhere else so all this attack power that i have would be completely negated if i was using a magical type weapon um and that's just how it works for like each each character right because you have different classes and each class does something differently now depending on who you talk to I'll say this with a grain of salt, depending on who you talk to, they will tell you something completely different. I'm gonna, I'm gonna log out really quick, just so that way I can show you guys uh, what the class selection looks like. Let's create a new character. Let's give them a, is there anything random? Let's just go into, sure, that. Let's go to that, yeah. Now let's go to that, sure. Um, there's these four different classes. There's warrior, rogue, priest, and mage. 
when I first started, obviously I didn't want to I didn't want to pick wrong, right? So the first thing I did was I picked Warrior because Warrior, no matter what game, it is always adequate, right? It's not always the best class, but it's never the worst class. In my experience, some of the worst classes are usually like Archer, Rogues, because they have such a low defense that I want to be a little bit more tanky. It's not that it's a bad class, it's just it's a bad class for me. So when I'm reading these, I'm thinking, okay, specialize in melee combat and massive armor to defend their allies and deal powerful blows to enemies. Sounds good, right? Like, I'm not going to die, right? No. Um, Masters of Stealth and Evasion allow them to slip past enemies to unleash crippling attacks, which to me means like, yeah, you're you're going to be able to evade and you're probably going to be powerful when you're killing people and you probably are going to have a little bit faster of an attack speed, but you're also not going to want to get hit because you're like that five foot one dude that goes to the bar and tries to mess with seven foot four dudes. So it's just not in the cards for me because I'd rather be this guy. And then you have the priest, which priest basically does the same thing in every game. They're like the white mage. They are about, all about healing. They ha definitely have their place. I just never really liked playing that kind of support character. All the way back to like World of Warcraft days. It just wasn't for me because... Um, honestly, I wasn't that great at like pressing other buttons as far as like, you know, you have your uh, WASD, but then... If you're also trying to cast a spell and you need to be casted right at this time, I was never good with that. I'd much rather than the, to just sit up there as like a tank and just withstand damage all day. That's just me. <clears throat> Mage, they're all the same in each kind of game, right? They're they're always trying to use like elemental attacks or they're trying to trying to kill with um, spells. That, that's a mage uh, in a nutshell. I know it's not very down to the like nitty gritty, but it's just that's how it is. Um, put in your character name up here. I'm not going to create a new character because, like I said, guys, getting to level 26, it's taken me like two weeks of nonstop playing. Um, <laughs> a lot of nonstop playing. And, uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I, I am too far in to start over. Maybe once I get to like level 40 or 50. I also think that the highest level that you can get to is 53 um, I just want to see overall level oh yeah level 53 right here so I don't know how these guys do it I'm not even anywhere near this I've got to be around here somewhere though oh I'm 24,000 right now right yeah 24,000 334. These guys legitimately have 10 more monster experience than I do. It means they've killed 10 more enemies than I have. And 10 times, sorry. And again, this isn't regular XP, right? Like I couldn't just go down here and kill these uh these rabbits because they're not gonna give me any XP. So I could kill them all day, they're not gonna give me anything. Something you will notice is that right around early to mid game, you're gonna start needing this stuff, coal. And eventually coal, like I'm at my level now, coal no longer gives me any experience when I, when I mine it. So mining it is kind of not worth my time because I'm not getting anything out of it, right? I'm not getting any experience. I don't sell it, so I'm not getting any money. I'm not doing anything with it that's going to give me anything in particular. Oh, sorry, bunny. Um, so one of the things that I found out through my guild is that people will uh, kind of put down here in chat. They'll go over and uh, they will put in um, that they are wanting to buy coal. Now, if you go up to this guy here, he will buy your coal. For two dollars a piece so you have to at least give people more than two dollars a piece if you're wanting to buy coal well that's a problem and i'll show you why so because my person is a warrior i use this here which is the crafting table but 
um, there's different types of crafting tables. I should I should note that as well. There's like this one, which does all the metallurgy and stuff. Um, there's also another one that does more or less like hide armor. Um, so I think like animal hides and stuff like that. Uh, uh, skinning racks, whatever you want to call them. I, I don't know. Uh, there's also um, another one where you can just make tools. There's one for like alchemy that I haven't really gotten into because again, I'm, I'm really not that far into the game, right? Like I've only passed like three different places and I've only gotten into two different instances uh, within the game, uh, which is the one that I'm in right now, this main overworld uh, into the dungeon. And then right past the dungeon, there's another overworld that I will show you guys if you want to see it. Um, but anyway, one of the crappy things is that when you are mining and say right like i already have a little bit of coal let's go and get some tin which is this here uh some tin ore i will get enough to make a bar i've been telling all my friends about this too like i i got a couple of people playing now and uh i've been telling them like don't forget to get as like just mine coal until you no longer get experience from mining coal i know it sounds stupid but seriously just mine coal until your ears bleed from hearing the word coal just do it um so tin this is what i wanted to show you guys so i can make two tin bars okay another thing about this is tungsten i cannot make right now because i need level 25 blacksmithing uh, it requires level 15 blacksmithing. I'm almost there. I'm so close. I can then make steel bars right now I am stuck with iron copper and tin The tin and the copper I Know that they give me the, the same experience and the reason I know that is because of their color They're both green right the, the names and the level are both green. They give me the same amount of experience iron gives me more experience and steel and tungsten would actually give me the most experience. I can't make those right now, so, you know, kind of tough luck, I guess. Um, down here in swords, uh, pole arms, shields, uh, feet, legs, chest, helmet, and daggers. I'll just kind of scroll down for each one of these guys. So as you guys can see, there's lots of stuff to make just for blacksmithing alone. However, okay, I'm going to make this watch this bar right here and look at how little it goes up all right so we're just about ready about halfway there it'll make one bar at a time okay now check this out that's it that is all you get when you make a bar <laughs> that look at that look that's it like Yeah, so I've done some numbers and it looks like at my level right now, it would take right around 600 coal uh, from the beginning of my level to the end of my level to level up in bars alone, which sounds like a lot, and it is. However, there are some caveats to that. So coal sells for two a piece, as you would know, as we talked about earlier. Tin sells for one a piece. You didn't know that, but you do now. So if you sell coal at two a piece, that equals two. And then 10 at one a piece, that equals three. Well, the problem with that is, is that when you make a bar, you're using two pieces of coal, AKA $4, plus three pieces of 10, AKA $7, to make something that is only worth $5. Okay, so now let's say we wanted to make a sword out of that. Say we want to make a tin sword. We now need five tin bars to make something that is only worth, swords um, when they're made like this are only worth $20, or $25, sorry. So you're only getting $25, which doesn't sound bad if you average $5 per bar, but you're not. You're averaging $7 per bar just to make the bar. So anytime you're buying something like coal, for instance, you have to already buy it for more than what it's selling for. So it sells for in a shop at, with, to an NPC for $2. That means you probably have to buy it for three, maybe even $4 for from another player. So if you're buying, let's say $3 per coal for 
from another player, you're spending six dollars per ingot or bar, whatever you want to call it. But that ingot is only worth five dollars. That's even if you already mined your own tin, copper, iron, steel, tungsten, whatever. That's like it just it's amazing to me that the economy in this game is not friendly to the users. And again, that's not a bad thing. I'm I'm not saying that it is a bad thing. I'm just saying that getting money and getting these small little items like small game meat and you'll eventually drop the rodent pelt and stuff like that as needless and as dumb as it sounds there are still times where i'll just come through here and just right like just annihilate the entire the entirety of all these small little bunny rabbits not because it's fun and i'm getting experience but because each time they drop something it's worth a dollar or two and the highest I've been in this game is where I am at now, at 8,440. Now, I have spent a lot of in-game money on different things that I wish I wouldn't have. Um, that's a discussion for another story, or for another time. Um, what I can tell you, though, is, one, don't skip on getting all of your iron and, like, smithing. Don't like wait until later to do it because what I've seen is people will start buying it once you're right around the level 25 or so um, in game I feel like once I get to level 15 crafting I'll actually end up doing a lot better uh, or level 15 blacksmithing I'll do a lot better uh, secondly don't buy tools and stuff from other players because you'll see that oftentimes it's not necessary because you can just go and get it yourself. Um, while we're on that conversation though, just let's talk about drops really quick. I have killed um, these guys here, these boars. I have killed over 4,000 boars in my time playing this game. Um, I, I know that simply because I did a, a two hour run through uh, and I counted them all because I'm bored um, because you know all you're doing is this for two hours straight uh, however in that two hours I found that I get hide pretty often probably about 30% of the time this stuff here soft hide You'll get a tusk probably about mm, five to ten percent of the time. I haven't gotten one yet, but they're often times in these guys, the bigger ones. Nothing, darn. Um, but there's even more rare stuff that I didn't know about, and I probably would never have known about if I didn't just do a two-hour powwow and just wanted to see what happened uh, you know I was also getting experience at the time but honestly I could have went up further and started home birds but I, I just wanted to see what like if they dropped anything else only to find out that yes they do I'm trying to see if I can get one really quickly but I don't think it's in the cards um they drop uh a bone staff no 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 not the bone staff that's uh that's somebody else let me see if I can find it in our bank here. Open. They dropped this guy. The shepherd staff. And I want to say they also dropped this guy. The big game spear. Both of which are decent weapons, I should say. Okay, so 21 to 28, but it's magic damage. Again, I wish I was in the magic realm because I have so much stuff that is magic damage. Okay, I mean, look at this. Four skeletal staffs that are all decent level 21 36 to 49 plus 30 magic damage um 22 to 27 yeah that's lower lower class but still if you look at my stuff that i have right now it's honestly not much better like 24 to 29 attack damage and that's the best blade i can get right now like that that's the best I can get 
So I could be any one of those other ma or any of those other classes if I wasn't a warrior. I could be setting it up with those other classes and having tons, tons more damage, right? The only thing is that I, I, I have more health, but if I was doing something like magic damage like this guy or this person, he doesn't even get hit before he's already killed his enemy. Like, and you can do that in other ones too. And it just makes it better. So, I, I don't know. Take that as you will. I think that it's more important still to try and be this tanky guy because I think more and more people are going to go to the mage class. And I think they're going to end up seeing that they um, overdid it a little bit on the mage and uh, uh, priest class. And I, so I think that they're going to nerf them a little bit. Um, something else for you guys. I was reading a lot of Reddit posts of how do you guys level up so quickly? Da 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 da. I can't level up. Everything's taking too long. Um, for one, you probably should have read all the comments on Reddit and Steam and um, Android and 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 and. Um, something though that I found out. I'm gonna try doing it on here. Like I said, I'm I'm so used to doing this on my phone um that this feels wonky to me uh what you do is you come up you hit somebody you hit another one you hit another one you hit another one and then you come back and you just start hitting them okay this is probably the best way to do any kind of hunting so that way you're not having to waste your time with each individual person have your have your heal skill backed up and ready Come back over, hit these guys, hit these guys, come over, hit them all, there we go, and we're, we're done with those ones now. Come back over, use your heal skill, and rinse and repeat 500 times. <laughs> because again, right here, this is my XP bar, watch it, watch it just for a second. I'm just going to take on two of these guys. It'll be quick. But look, two of them dead, didn't even hardly move. Okay, so like that's what I'm saying is this game is not for everybody I do think it's a really fun game I really enjoy it so far because I know a lot of people are not gonna put in the time or effort that some do, but I understand why I, I definitely do because it's not the easiest game you will die um, after actually before I end this video uh, I will show Ah, get away from me. Stop it. I don't want to play. Stop. Leave me alone. Stop in the name of the Lord. Um, You'll see these guys, these enemies up here. See how they just have a skull? No, like, name or anything. No level. Nothing, just a skull. I'll show you why here in just a second. These guys are actually pretty annoying too because they're like archer class and so you have to actually get close to them so they've already hit you twice before you get to them anyway these giant bugs they also have these little larvae but if you try and go against somebody that's five or six levels above you at the time they will just destroy you and you cannot hit them either like it it does not end well anytime oh boy there we go. Made it. Um, but yeah, so that is Heartwood Online. Tons of fun. Really good game. I'm also impressed with their shop, as you guys oftentimes know when I do reviews. Oh, sorry. I will judge a game based off of its shop. Uh, you know, is it aesthetics? Is it more than aesthetics? Is it pay to win? Is it free to play friendly? Is it player friendly or is it dev friendly, right? Those are kind of like the the four corners. It's either dev friendly, player friendly, and either pay to win or free to play. A game that's somewhere in the middle, I think, is something that you can only pay for to get aesthetics that does not give any player um, any kind of uh, leap forward in the game. It's also friendly enough to let a uh, 16 year old be able to apply to be able to buy and obtain um, some stuff for his, his character, some skins without 
you know, going bankrupt or anything. Um, a dev-friendly, pay-to-win game to me is your typical Clash of Clans mobile games where you can let legitimately just go in and buy five thousand dollars worth of stuff and become a top 100 player without putting any in or putting in any effort or time and just dropping it and boom now you're the greatest ever right like that it's not what video games are about to me to me video games are so much more they're a way of showing artistic um it's like a, you're, you're letting it all out, right? Like you're letting out your artistic side and you are showing people what you have inside of you. It's like taking a mathematician and, and, show, or, and them showing a class on how to do their uh, process. It, it's fun because that's their being, that's who they are. Uh, video games to me is very much so the same. You have video game designers who design the front end like this stuff, the GUI, the GUI uh, graphic user, uh, user interface. This is their, not just their job, but what they love to do and what they actually really find interesting. But then you also have people that are out there just trying to scam people and make a quick buck. And I'm not trying to say that Clash of Clans itself isn't a scam. It's not. Um, it is a valid game. And I, I do think that it was a lot of fun at one point in time, but I think that once people learned that unless they put in a constant amount of money, then there is no winning for them. And that is a difficult pill to swallow. Um, some of the other games that I find difficult, uh, gotcha games or gacha, gacha games, uh, whatever you want to call them. I call them gotcha because it's like, haha, gotcha money. Um, it's gambling, right? It's gambling for kids. It, it truly, really is. Um, I would know I play still to this day. I play Summoner's War. Um, I'm not proud of it. It's probably not a great game. I don't think at least. It's really not. But uh, and to me, it's a fun game. So um, yeah, that, you know, I, I think that this is a, this is a good in-between mix where they're not really trying to steal your money. But they do have stuff for sale uh, and that's always good to me so anyway that's enough of my ranting uh this is uh area 51 rebuilt find me on youtube like and subscribe if you can i'm trying to create more and more content trying to bring back uh, some old school gaming um if you guys like the content or if you want to see a game that i haven't posted on or that you're not seeing any kind of major youtubers post on um something that might be interesting please know clash of clans or gotcha games I get way too invested. I get way too angry. Here we guys probably hear my cat in the background. That's Dexter. Um, but yeah, no gotcha games, no clash of clans, no real time strategies, because they just uh, they make me angry. Um, but anyway, find me on YouTube. Uh, like and subscribe. Have a great day, guys. Keep playing.